Dave Stevens here at Fenway Park where the Red Sox are hosting the Twins. And man, it's really awesome to not only come and see the Twins play, but to sit with a Hall of Fame pitcher, a guy I've known forever. I covered him back in 87 and back in the old times. Uh, Burt Blyleven, Hall of Famer. Uh, thanks for taking a couple of minutes with me. Oh, you're welcome, Dave. You know, I always said I admired you for what you do. You go out and motivate people. Even though you we were born this way, you didn't give up. You keep striving toward perfection as far as just getting to know people and tell your story. It's awesome. Well, well thank you. And I, I think what's cool now is, you know, you're a Hall of Famer, and I can say that, and it's really such an honor. But now you're in the game. You're in this MLB The Show now where people are finding out you had the best curveball maybe that there ever was. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, my son plays that game, too, and he said that uh, he's a Minnesota Twins, and we won the World Series. Uh, and he said I was a big part of it. So it's kind of a nice honor. Now, you are a broadcaster now uh, in the booth. You have gotten to see uh, the good and the bad over the years, but, man, what a heck of a season you guys are having. This is definitely a good, Dave. Uh, you know, what this club's been able to do offensively, it's incredible. Uh, you know, all the home runs they've hit, they've broken the uh, major league record for season home runs, and, they, and uh, I think there's 26 games left, so they're going to add on to that. I think they have 271 home runs right now, 272, something like that. But, uh, no, you know, they're looking forward to postseason. That, that's the main goal. You can set records during a season. But you want to get to postseason, and hopefully the Twins are hot at that time. Did these guys ever pick your brain? I mean, you had that playoff experience, World Series titles, and uh, some of them, you know, may want to just come up to you and go, okay, what do we do in this situation? There's all these guys that hit home runs now. How do I get them out? I mean, did they pick your brain sometimes? Uh, just a little bit. I'm in spring training with them the first two weeks when they're trying to get ready, you know, and I'm more on a fast key off the fastball. Location of the fastball was always uh, my, my I think, uh, forte. As far as my curveball, yes, I had a good curveball, but if I could not get my fastball over, what good was it? You know, I could throw all curveball, 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 but you got to control the fastball. you got to keep the hitter off balance. you got to sometimes, you know, brush them back a little bit. But uh, I still miss – uh, that time on the mound. I, I, I come to Fenway, and again, there's very few parks where Babe Ruth played, Ted Williams play, but, you know, I say there's very few parks where Kirby Puckett played. And uh, just what's your best puck memory as a teammate, player, everything that you saw with Puck? Well, first of all, when I came and joined the Twins in June of 1970, I met the team here at Fenway Park, and I felt the same way you did, Dave, you know, thinking that Ted Williams played here. They have a seat painted up in right field, they said it, he hit it 502 feet. I wish I was pitching that, <laughs> that pitch. They would say, well, who was the pitcher? They would have said me. But you know what? Uh, Kirby Puck was a special individual. You know, he brought a lot of charisma, brought a lot of talent, and uh, he was someone that every time he walked into the clubhouse, you knew he was there because he was very joyful. He was just a good, great guy to be around. Doesn't get much better than this. Hall of Fame pitcher, Burt Blylevin. Burt, man, it's, it's, I run into you every couple of years on the road, but it's, it's always a, a privilege and a pleasure to see you. Dave, thank you. Always great to see you. And I hope, man, I hope I see you guys advance far in the postseason. Let's hope so. All right. God will. All right, that's it for the uh, Disability Channel Today show. Let's send it back to you.